old man. So, on the latest episode of Club Shay Shay, he had Steve Stout on it thanking him. He was talking about, you know, his connections with Dame Dash and Jay-Z. He reveals the reason why he believed that Jay-Z stopped messing with Dame Dash and that actually prompted a response from Dame Dash saying some, saying that this is why he had to smack Steve Stout a couple years ago, but we gonna get into that. Also, Cameron came to speak out for Dame Dash too. Hold on tight, but first check out what was said on Club Shay Shay. The people around him wanted to meet with other people. Right. They, they, people wanted were, were becoming less beholden to him, but he was unaware of it. Then he would like, you know, while he was building businesses, which partly he was, he would go off all around the world with cameras and girls and all kinds of crazy shit and then come back flipping out on everybody as if, you know. They were wrong. Yeah, or, or like, why'd you guys do all this shit without me? Like, bro, you didn't build a business that was so operationally tight that you could just go away and come back and right. shit and be the same and all that shit. It wasn't even like that. Jay grew up. You know, Jay wanted more. I think Jay seen Dame's ceiling. And I think that's really what it was. I mean, uh, uh, Jay seen Dame's ceiling. You can't fault a man for wanting to get better. No, he wanted to. He wanted more. And um, everybody wanted more. I, Dame just had a very particular way of approaching it. He wasn't, he's far from stupid. Right. Very, very, very smart. Right. Uh, very talented. Ego through the roof, through the roof. So you, there was no working with him. Right. That, 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 no one wanted to work with him. There was no work. Yeah, well, that, as much talented as talent as he has, nobody wanted to work people. with him. Jimmy Iveen had this line: "When the shit gets bigger than the cat, you got to get rid of the cat." Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting, interesting. Now this is what Dame Dash said in response to that. This is the reason I had to smack the shit out of Steve Stout a couple years ago because he's always speaking out on other men's business. Good thing I've evolved. So yeah. The comments are really interesting though. You got Lunch lunch Money, um, Lunch Baby saying, so going around the world with girls is a crime. The way people suck off Jay is wild. Without Dame, there is no Jay, period. Uh, we got Pete Rock saying all y'all Jay-Z fans shaking my head. Dude right here says, so we're gonna act like United Masters isn't the blueprint Dame started. Dame the one that made y'all independent, now y'all got it down. The man, ugh, so sad. Now, as I said, we got Cameron over here. Um, Now, the Art of Dialogue posted this. Let's read what they had to say. It says, while reacting to Steve Stout's criticism of Dame Dash in Shannon Sharp's interview, Mace makes it clear that Dame Dash gave a lot of people jobs in Harlem, and Cameron explains why Dame Dash is perceived the wrong way. Also, Cam reveals Dame Dash helped the current president of Jay-Z's Rock Nation by giving her an internship during her early years in the music industry. Shut this out right here, man. Right. So this no, means absolutely. Dame gave no, a lot of people here. jobs, regardless of what people say. And him giving you a platform, he gave a lot of people in Harlem jobs. Oh, absolutely. It's a bunch of people outside of me that are... Uh are still in prominent positions now. Um, Sherry, she's the president of the Rock Nation. Mm. She lived in Dame's building, Dame Dash's building in 1199. And I don't really know exactly how the college thing worked. I think, I don't know if Dame helped her get in college or helped pay for college or whatever it was. I'm not sure about that part, but she came down as an intern. Dame let her be an intern at Rockefeller. And she never looked back you know she's an intern then a secretary then an assistant then got uh one in the corporate then she i think she's the assistant uh president at atlantic records and she went over to work with todd moskowitz and now she's the president of rock nation and this is like dave dash's niece almost mm. and that's just one example it's several people who's still working right now emmanuel who's at atlantic uh, got hired at Rockefeller. It's a lot of executives that still working right now because of me. Yes. That's huge. Boss. That's dope. Yeah. Those are dope questions. Yeah, I wanted to know because you know I when I hear stories, I don't really know. So you're you're my source of information when it comes to this because oh, yeah, absolutely. at that time I wasn't absolutely. even listening to music. So there's a lot of stuff right. I missed nah, out absolutely. on. Yeah, we definitely uh, absolutely look I was going to say, we definitely have to what? continue the Ask Cam and Mace because I know there's so <laughs> many more things people want to know. Yeah, I tried to, yeah. to start yeah. one, but he was ready. Because <laughs> yeah. um, I ain't going to lie, nigga. You know, like I said, the, the main question you asked me and before we get ready to move on is, and 
and I don't know if it's the main question, but I want to wrap this up in saying this is that Dame gets perceived the wrong way because of his attitude. He's very arrogant, but he's very smart. But the thing about it is Dame is going to do what works for Dame. And at this point, you got to accept him, either love him or hate him for who he is because he's not changing. And he's been successful at helping build $100 million companies, not just one, but multiple. And some people never going to see $100 million in their life. So I think he's capable of doing anything in the world. But sometimes to me, to Cam, the way he he presents himself to other people is eternal. He's an yeah. acquired taste for it. Okay, so that's the thing about people. Duality. Duality, dog. Some people, the best ones, embrace both sides. You have some, some bad sides, some vicious sides, then you have some very, very cool sides, some good sides, and it is what it is. And based on your interactions with that, that person, that's how you're going to perceive them, you know? <laughs> if you receive more of the bad shit, you're going to talk about the bad shit anytime somebody asks because you got to, you know, explain why you don't fuck with them. If you love them, though, you're going to talk about why you do love them. So I understand why Cam has that, you know, that position. Y'all know back in the days, Cam used to always be going at Jay-Z's neck. So, of course, of course. But y'all got to let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo. The people around him wanted to meet with other people. Right. They, they, people wanted were becoming less beholden to him. But he was unaware of it. Then he would, like, you know... While he was building businesses, which partly he was, he would go off all around the world with cameras and girls and all kinds of crazy shit, and then come back flipping out on everybody as if, you know. They were wrong. Yeah, or, or like, why'd you guys do all this shit without me? Like, bro, you didn't build a business that was so operationally tight that you could just go away and come back and right. shit be the same and all that shit. It wasn't even like that. Jay grew up. You know, Jay wanted more. I think Jay seen Dame's ceiling. I mean, I think that's really what it was. I mean, uh, uh, Jay seen Dame's ceiling. You can't fault a man for wanting to get better. No, he wanted to. He wanted more, and um, everybody wanted more. He, I, Dame just had a very particular way of approaching it. He wasn't. He's far from stupid. Right. Very, very, very smart. Right. Uh, very talented. Ego through the roof, through the roof. So you, there was no working with him. Right. That, 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 no one wanted to work with him. There was no work. Yeah, well, as much talented as talent as he has, nobody wanted to work with him. Jimmy Iovine had this line: "When the shit gets bigger than the cat, you got to get rid of the cat." Right. <laughs> <laughs>